Welcome back to Your Town TV, and this is the Arts of the Answer segment. My name is Paulette Lynch, and I'm the Executive Director of the Arts Council for Monterey County. And today, we are celebrating our Champions of the Arts for 2019. We are going to be showcasing seven different artists and also a nonprofit people who are arts leaders. We are going to be celebrating everything about the arts in Monterey County on February 2nd. And we hope you'll join us at the Monterey Hyatt. And you can find out so much more on our website at artsformc.org slash champions. But today, I'm so dis so just so delighted to be speaking with Denise Sanders and Bonnie Fernandez of the Open Ground Studios. They are nonprofit champions this year. And we get a chance just today to delve in a little deeper to what they're doing, how they get started and a little bit about what's next. So big welcome to you, Denise and Bonnie. Thank you, Thank Thank you. you so yeah. much for being with us today. Yeah, we're glad to be here. So Denise, let's open with you. Uh, can you tell us what's the mission of Open Ground Studios? Open Ground Studios is, is here for the community to have a space and oasis for the novice, print, the novice artist, the professional artist, and the creative adult to have a place where you're supported and uh, facilities that make the creative process happen. And your logo has that wonderful frog, frog image. Yeah. What is that? Why, why did you the come up with that? The frog actually is a really interesting little story that started <laughs> when we opened. It's beautiful too. It's Thank great. You. It's really um, so when we opened the studio, we were looking for donors and different people to support us, whether they wanted to be a, a user of the space or if they just wanted to see it happen in our community. And one of my friends, Frank, who works at the tannery, the printmakers at the tannery up in Santa Cruz was a real help and support for oh, the development. Uh -huh. And I said, Frank, I need a name for, you know, s the people who aren't like angels giving us money, but that that want us to su be supported and, and have this. And he said, well, have them be the friends of Open Ground Studios. So that became the frog. Oh, I and had no idea. I am the director, so I'm the dog. <laughs> 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 yeah, we have a bunch of those. We, we try not to use them that much anymore. But yeah, so the frog became our, our mascot. I love that mascot. It, it's really appealing as you go down the street. You yeah. really want to say, hey, what's going yeah, on what's over going there? Out there? So yeah, he's, he's kind of crawling out of this hole in <laughs> yes, curiosity yes. like, what, what would happen if I came over here? What would happen yeah. if I actually take that leap? Oh, Pun intended. Oh, there we go, there we into go. Into the arts. <laughs> That's phenomenal. So let's talk about that. Um, can you and Bonnie talk a little bit about the prog programs and services that you have nowadays at Open Ground Studios? Sure, I'll start with that. And, um, we have uh, memberships for anyone in the community from um, donors, which are s helping support the, the mm -hmm. programs and the scholarships and the facilities. Yeah. And um, those are supporting members all the way up through friends and advocates. And then we have artist memberships. We've got two kinds. One is a co-op membership, which is a nice entry level for artists who need a space outside of their home to work, yeah. or people who are exploring whether or not they really want to have a studio space. So That's they share the space. They, we have storage for all of their supplies. We offer a lot of different supplies and machines and equipment at the studio for everyone to use. And then we've got resident members, which Bonnie is one of those. And we remodeled the studio in 2018 to accommodate seven dedicated workspaces for artists. That's and so amazing. Bonnie and, and Deb share a space that's dedicated. And we've got eight artists that um, get to do that. So that overall, we're called an artist collective, both with the co-op members and the resident members. And uh, we also teach classes and workshops. We have openings in our gallery at least four times a year. Oh, and right. yeah. um, we do private lessons as well. And you were part of Open Studios just recently. And we were just part of Open Studios. Yeah. We do the West End Celebration every year. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And we do whatever re outreach we can. As a collective, mm -hmm. you're moving out mm -hmm. into the community yeah. as well as embracing people to come into yeah. your space. Yes. So Bonnie, you were one of the people that somehow found your way there. And mm -hmm. now you're a resident mm -hmm. member. Is that how we call it? And so can mm -hmm. you talk about how did you find them? And then what okay. makes you stay? Well, I've known Denise from my neighborhood and um, her family for many, many years. And I know her as an artist and a friend and a neighbor. Mm -hmm. And we've talked a lot about art making and we've done different things like collaging together or uh, painting. Mm -hmm. and, and she's always supported me in my art process. And I knew she was 
trying to find a space where she could have her equipment and do mm -hmm. her thing and make community. And I know she had some other ideas, but I also had an experience when I, we took our family to Spain for a year and lived in 2003 on a sabbatical. And I found a place there that was an academy that was had lessons for kids after school, but during the whole week and during the days, there were members who could come in anytime and paint, and yeah. and the artists were there to help us. And so it was kind of an open, like you can go in and out and uh -huh. on your own time. So I told that to Denise, and that added into factored into her thinking on on and what Bonnie, kind of space. Bonnie was one of our founding members from the very beginning. Right. Has been a solid yeah. member for almost six years. Wow! Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. And has continued to. You know, shift her membership as she's gotten deeper in her right, art. right. But well, you've all been an amazing team. You know, we've really watched the growth mm -hmm. and um, the evolution of all of your programs and the people who come and mm -hmm. people who emerge from there too. Yeah, is pretty right. amazing. So, so Bonnie, can you tell us more about how it feels like now? Um, uh, you, you've been a supporter for all this time, but my understanding is that your own work is really evolving there. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about mm -hmm. how that has happened for you? Why does it matter that you're not anymore in your living room or your mm -hmm. you know, attic around here? I guess yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 Well, I didn't know exactly what kind of art I wanted to do, mm -hmm. and I've done lots of I've done drawing classes and charcoal and watercolor and dabbling and all kinds of different things, little things but not really focused. And so taking classes at Open Ground and practicing there and meeting different people yeah. and trying things, even like book arts, mm -hmm. which I'd never done before, just really fun. And she's the teacher, an amazing <laughs> teacher of book arts. Um, it's a place to go and be with other people doing things. So it's yeah. it's fun and it's social, but it can also be very reflective and quiet too. Mm -hmm. Like we can take space and people can just do their own thing and go inward or be outward and social and, and um, you know, yeah. dance and laugh together or make do things together. For me, I also work through seeing myself as more of an artist uh -huh. than someone who sort of does stuff. <laughs> 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 and that's happening really recently, that, that there's great artists there to challenge people like me to, mm -hmm. to be creative and just do things and, and work through those blocks mm -hmm, that, mm -hmm. that the fear that comes up, you know, we meet the self when we try to create something out here, yeah. then all the voices that tell us about ourselves, yeah. good and bad, are there okay. too, right? Yeah. So there's so much support to just work through that and do it anyway. Yeah. Or, mm -hmm. um, so, and then the, the, the more professional artists who are there help us less advanced artists, I guess I could say, take steps to see things and and develop the craft. So mm -hmm. I think so it's happening for me. So that yeah, learning is. and yeah, the teaching, <laughs> would you say, at, at Open Ground Studios is happening formally and informally, mm -hmm. just in being together, mm -hmm. just yes. little things happen and all of a sudden you get that little yeah. bit of inspiration or that one last step you didn't mm -hmm. really get mm -hmm. in some sort of a way. Yeah. So that's such an extraordinary opportunity that you've given everyone, mm -hmm. Denise, with your leadership through Open Ground Studios. Can you talk a little bit more about your own personal commitment to making this happen and what it was like for you to have to go around and do the, the searching and the finding and then and then you're still, as my understanding, right, you're still the force, even though you have a bigger team than ever, you have more help than ever, but you still have to be the one, I'm guessing, that <laughs> has to just make sure things are still <laughs> moving, moving. What keeps you moving is the question. I'm yes. <laughs> um, um, mm -hmm. th There was a lot of questions inside that one question. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think this, the driving force for me when I started it and that, that propelled me through the first five years yeah. It was a really, really solid belief that as grown-ups, we need to have access to our creative expression. Uh -huh. And 
that paralleled with me as a professional artist needing to have my tribe uh -huh. around oh, me. Oh, that's great. That's and great, so yeah. those two things together, and yeah. since when I moved to Monterey, I didn't, I, I didn't have that. Uh -huh. It took uh -huh. me years and years and years to find groups of people that I felt like could identify with my process yeah. or my, my passions to move forward and, and raise my own bar of my artistic uh -huh. excellence. And so I wanted to help bring that together and knowing you know, how expensive the peninsula is, it's very hard to have space right. outside of your home that you can afford, especially if you just you know, have a normal job. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And so that was really my driving force, is to give a place to not only uh, creative adults, but emerging artists and professional artists where they can all work together to help mm -hmm. raise, raise what everyone does. Mm -hmm. And um, in the process of doing that, interestingly, this is where the shift started to change, is that I started losing my own um, time and, oh. and ability and energy to make yeah. art, and it started to really hurt, like mm -hmm. deep, deep into my soul, <laughs> to a point where I needed to really step back and decide how can I move forward I'm watching people grow and evolve, but I'm over here at wilting <laughs> because yeah. I didn't have my, my own space and it was just sort of an mm -hmm. aha moment last year that I realized I have a 2,000 square foot space. What do I mean I don't have my own space? Like I don't have my, my space yeah. that's just yeah. you know, for my own process. And, and watching the other artists in the studio grow as well as need that space, it became pretty evident that that was the right direction to take. And ultimately, um, it was always in my five-year plan to yeah. have a, a well a bigger space where we could still have the cooperative shared spaces in the printmaking studio and mm -hmm. painting studio, mm -hmm. and then we would have dedicated spaces around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so, even though I thought that would happen in a bigger space that we would move to, yeah. it happened inside there. Isn't that great? Wow! It, so that's one of the things that I think. Um, really has been such a, trim, uh, uh, I've, I've started to walk my walk now <laughs> because I can't do what I do unless I'm an artist, unless I can uh -huh. get into my own studio and do what I need to do for that personal growth and my own professional um, path. And having everyone around has been tremendous for me getting over my own hump. Yeah, and all those great. voices that you were talking about, yeah. I was floundering and thinking, oh my God, I can't even do this anymore. What am I doing? Mm -hmm. And I had the people around me shoring me up and saying, "You're an, of course you can do this. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. let's. Why don't you work? You know, this is a really good direction you're going. Tell me about that. Yeah, yeah. And all yeah. it takes is when someone is interested mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. wants mm -hmm. to hear your process, even if it's for mm -hmm. five minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They walk away, and all of a sudden we've been witnessed, mm -hmm. and we've been accepted, and we've been yes. encouraged. That's so amazing. Can you talk about some other people who have come through your doors, whether they're coming in from the mm -hmm. workshop or they already mm -hmm. come uh, somewhat prepared mentally, like they finally found a place sure. and they're really ready to go. Um, talk about their journeys too. Just some examples of people that um, you really witnessed in them, that same kind of transformation uh -huh. from Sure. Two, all of a sudden that they're in check. Well, this one and, <laughs> and Deb are two that I would say because, you know, you guys did start taking classes together sometimes mm -hmm. the creative mm -hmm. habit that I did yes. for a couple of years yes. and different workshops that they would take. And mm -hmm. um, Deb works at CSUMB and, you know, they have a full-time job. So they, she's a full-time job. People do their lives and they have professions that yeah. they, mm -hmm. they go in, mm -hmm. but there's this missing link. Yes. And so both, uh -huh. both mm -hmm. of them... Yes started taking classes and I'll never forget when Deb the first time she said I was like two years in and I said we're gonna have a critique and let's just bring in all the work that you've done I don't care if you did it just during this one class mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. if it prior, prior things and she came in and she's like I have a body of work yeah, <laughs> and that, that was a, that was <laughs> yeah. that was a shift for her and, and like Bonnie yeah. said a minute ago about you know am I an artist I'm, I'm right, coming right. into being able to feel like I can say those words yeah. which shouldn't mm -hmm. be such a hard thing mm -hmm. for people to mm -hmm. say we're all artists when we cook when we design our clothes how we present is our artistry and yeah. so that's one story do you have a, mm -hmm. do you have someone else we should Renato mm -hmm. or well I'm thinking about classes where the where we come in for example a Monday night class where there's some high school students yeah. all the way up to you know 
all through the ages mm -hmm. and people doing whatever they're doing some some high school kids doing their portfolios uh -huh. for art school uh -huh. okay. and need help mm -hmm. um, and people from the military mm -hmm. and people from CSUB or mm -hmm. all walks of life so yeah. you meet people that you wouldn't otherwise really maybe encounter and everyone's in their own space of doing maybe they've never done a drawing before all the way to very mm. advanced, very what developed you, What things. do you call that? What's, what's the name of that workshop? That class the, is, um, Monday it's, nights, it's an ongoing class called Drawing, Painting, and Creating, and it's with Paul Richmond, who's an extraordinary mm -hmm. teacher, yeah, extra extraordinary, extraordinary artist. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But so, we've seen, the, to finish your question, yeah. though, we've seen artists, like I think about Val, and mm -hmm. there's been a few people who've come into our classes and they just love the environment and yeah. they want to they get better at, at their craft and do, do well. And sometimes I'll walk in and I think, I remember what you were doing when you came here oh, a year exactly. and a half ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, look at this! Uh -huh. Look yeah. at this progress that you've yeah. made. And there's still the questions. If you see this little glint in there, it's like, yeah, I know, I kind of did. I did yeah. that. That's yes. brilliant. That's yes. so wonderful. And, yes. and some people <clears throat> have said that their their jobs have gotten so much better because they're tapping into this other place that was desperate to get out, and so now they're more mm -hmm. present mm -hmm. in their jobs. Mm -hmm. And that is that is yes. what art does, it's, whether it's music or writing or mm -hmm. dance or, or visual art. It, it just got goosebumps. Mm -hmm. It makes us more whole. Absolutely, yes. and that's something that I'm more and more interested in myself. Is the arts is healing, and mm -hmm. I'm starting to delve more into like, okay, I know it works, but how? Um, so we'll have to leave that for another day. But a lot yes. of it has to do with um, diminishing anxiety. Yes. And then mm -hmm. releasing all mm -hmm. the good stuff. So um, mm -hmm. what is next for Open Ground Studios besides coming and being celebrated on February 2nd? <laughs> yeah. at the we're, finding, we're figuring out what our clothes are going to be. Oh, I'm sure you'll be absolutely <laughs> dazzling, whatever it is. But we're so, so excited to honor you all, to honor your whole team, to honor the spirit in which you're really serving mm -hmm. the community and each of the people who come to you and all the people who are going to keep coming. Yeah. So thank you so, so much for being a part of our, our set today, and uh, we look forward to more conversations as we go. Oh, great. Thank, thank you, you so, much. so much. It's been great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.